What's up, you two? Capital G here. Got some Buster Blader duels for you guys to check out. Obviously, the much maligned archetype that got a bunch of support during the Arc V era. But man, with the release of the Guard Dragons plus Needle Fiber, this archetype is so much better than it was before. I kind of feel like the Guard Dragons, new archetype coming out in Savage Strike, I kind of feel like they're doing for Dragon archetypes what um, Iso did for Warriors. We all know, like, right now, basically every Warrior deck in Yu Gi Oh! ever is, is viable because of his sword and they all use his sword and it's like the main go-to card because his sword is just so fucking good guard dragons kind of do that for dragon archetypes because not only do they allow you to easily go into link monsters but they allow you to pull red eyes from your freaking deck and then get the get its effect off summon it back from the graveyard and from there you just kind of pop off and never forget that you know buster blader before master rule four they used to have this super lock where they'd have the destruction swordsman fusion monster and they would have the buster dragon synchro and once you combine those two it was kind of like having 41, number 41, Bagusta on the field, but it would only affect your opponent. So you're going to see that Buster Blader can make ridiculously strong plays. And once they establish that lock, there's like no coming back from it. Unless you have some type of super duper removal, like evenly match and Ross Spirit Mode or something, you're just going to lose at that point. So Needle Fiber gets the deck rolling. And all he has or all he needs is to get a, a couple of those little Buster Blader monsters on field. Now you can go into the Guard Dragon Link monsters, pull Red Eyes from your deck, activate the effect, pull it from your your graveyard activate the effect and <laughs> now you can just get hot red dragon archery in abyss and he can actually go for a really cheeky synchro summon here. Yo, check out the cover card of Savage Strike putting it in that work. Boil out Savage Dragon hitting the field with two Boral counters because he brings back the Needle Fiber. And now he has all types of negation. Also has four very strong monsters on board because, uh, is this Twin Burst Dragon? Yeah, uh, yeah. Or excuse me, Three Burst Blast Dragon. I thought, I don't, for some reason, I thought the word Twin was in there. Triple Burst Dragon, whatever. Anyways, the card has a little bit more attack uh, because of the Sorry Just Skull Dread. So, you're seeing right here he has so much negation his opponent is going to solemn strike which actually just uh you know digs the hole deeper that you're in because your life points go down but it doesn't it doesn't matter he didn't have any ways of stopping battle uh, or stopping an attack right there so a couple of attacks later and it's pretty much a wrap I actually had a fourth duel but it got corrupted man i'm so mad about that it was so good but um you know i digress anyways this duel is going to be against cosmo even though he does have soul charge, it's going to be a relatively strong pop off. It's crazy because it's not going to look very good until he kind of finishes it. And then you're going to see what I mean when he gets that Buster Blade or lock and just how good it is. So the Guard Dragon plays are pretty self explanatory. I think that if we get Needle Fiber sometime soon, you'll see a lot of this in competitive. This will become kind of like, you know, the new Isode. Whether or not Isode is banned by then, who knows? But, you know, you'll start seeing these plays. So he's going to go for soul charge. And you would think, ah, oh, he's going to link spam the field. Not quite just goes for boros sword dragon and he uses sorry you just skull dread to do it <laughs> i love that right <laughs> actually i don't i hate that i've already talked about how i don't like using big link monsters to summon other ones so you look at this board and you're like cap g this is the most cap of what i've ever seen this guy had soul charge only ended with two monsters just wait he can activate the prologue of the destruction swordsman once he does that he gets his destruction swordsman but he's also going to get that buster blader from the memories this is memories right uh destruction sword memories yes and now once you have these two on field yo pendulum summon doesn't even matter it's not going to do anything because I, as i said before once you get Destruction Swordsman and Buster Dragon on field, all of your opponent's monsters become dragons. These monsters cannot activate their effects. They have to shift to defense mode permanently, and um, they can't attack, which I guess that's redundant because they're in defense mode. So <laughs> basically, it's like having number 41. You also get piercing damage, too, against dragon monsters. So it's actually quite incredible, and your opponent just can't really do anything. Something that Slip Rider, it can't activate its effect. He is going to try to activate Cosmo Town. Nope, that's going to be negated by Hot Red Dragon. An archfiend abyss he realizes that he can't win but hey there the next guy might be able to do it with uh I, I don't know let's see if he has a certain banned card in the tcg that can help him <laughs> So lay down your bets, guys. What is greater? The, the the combo that you guys just saw are 20 cards with Maxi. <laughs> the answer might surprise you because I like how even with Maxi, his opponent is like, I'm not stopping, bro. I'm going straight for needle fiber. We are going in here. And uh yeah, there's no reason to really stop at this point. Because if you get that combo set up, there are only a few things like you know, evenly match and raw spear mode that can kind of play out of it. So you're basically just kind of playing the odds at that point goes for the same exact play you can see his opponent has what 41 cards in board or 41 cards in deck so he has i believe 18 cards exactly i'm gonna round that up for the title we're gonna make it 20 just to sound a little cooler but 
<laughs> he goes for basically the same exact play. He's playing full OCG too, because I believe he has grass. Is uh, that grass is uh, greener in his opening hand as well? He is going to activate it, which should get him some cards. I think ten cards in the graveyard gets a wolf. But when you can't activate monster effects, what are you gonna do? And this guy's smart. He's. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, I was thinking he would only use this against evenly matched, but he can't use evenly matched now because he has wolf. Unless he used wolf. No, no, no. He can't. Yeah, he can't. Because I was thinking maybe wolf would attack and then he'd use evenly match but wolf can't it can't be shifted to attack mode so now he could you know well i guess maybe you save it for regeki but yeah that kind of makes sense only save your you know save your hot red dragon arch fiend abyss at that point just four cards like regeki and you know basically board wipes regeki kaiju slumber evenly match or uh, if your opponent tries to force it out with something like impermanence but when he got the wolf on board he basically like he lost his ability to potentially evenly match or impermanent so that was actually quite unfortunate especially considering he would not be able to attack with the wolf so i'm gonna pause for a second we're gonna look at this deck and see what it looks like all right so this is what the deck looks like on paper i used to see this card a lot in buster blader builds the where art thou i guess it's because there are so many level ones in buster blader that's the same reason why you see uh one for one in this deck which is uh, somewhere around here here it is but um also the guard dragons you also have level ones in there too so i think it makes sense plus you run jester confit and you run like you know glow up bulb a card to get off needle fiber a card to help you go into needle fiber etc etc i think it's pretty cool that he's running trap trick and i'm guessing that this is used to get the prologue because you saw it's so important to establish your combo with destruction swordsman and buster dragon it makes it so your opponent really can't do anything and then when you have your other big dragons on board those are the cards that just beat the crap out of them so i guess having technically like a fourth copy of this card wouldn't hurt but you see that um a lot of these dragon decks don't have to run that many guard dragons in their deck and even in the extra deck just a few cards added in like one copy of each and you can run things like soul charge and monster are born to get them back in later turns i mean you can only summon one of each one of these monsters per turn anyway so it's not like you're going to need multiple copies of them and when you get the uh the lockdown cards your borrowed savage dragon and your hot red dragon archfiend abyss your negations then those should be able to, or those should be the cards that get you the victory and actually last thing i wanted to talk about was phantasmi obviously it's such a strong card people in the ocg are already starting to run this card but in this deck it's even better because it does happen to be a level 7 dragon so you can use this card as like link material or you can use it how you will and then you can actually you know summon it back from red eyes but at the same time it's a level 7 so that meant that you know we got to see it go into boil load savage dragon so it's really good for synchro material because you run something like glow up bulb and it can easily get you into your level 8s and I mean I don't think you'd ever have this and buster blader on the field but they're level 7 so both of them help you go into you know level 8 synchro so it's a, it's a really good card in this deck specifically because you can get it back from the graveyard where you might not do that in other decks.